So someone's getting, uh, feels like they're on the edge. They're at the edge of the cliff and they're feeling these profound states of peace sometimes. Um, you know, how am I to be towards my holy brothers? Um, you know, uh, is it is it love or is it ignoring the brothers or what you know what what's to be and i think again um with this question um it depends where one is the context of where one is and the context of the interactions that are happening whether one is ignore there is an inclination to ignore people or to practice love with individuals and it, it depends on where the student is in their journey and what lesson is actually being presented at the time for spiritual growth. Now, I was um, intuiting if these levels of peace, profound peace, are starting to arise, then, um, and this is starting to happen, then my intuition, but I could be wrong, it depends on the lesson that's being presented. You, you can pray to the Holy Spirit to guide you further. But generally, if the peace is coming, there would be... Um, uh, I would say in the beginning, yeah, there is an inclination to let people with heavy baggage to try and um, not have much contact with them. And I would say that, that would be appropriate because you're starting to get these profound senses of peace and you probably need some time to just go deeper and, and just jump off and be in those in the infinite peace for longer periods of time. And it can be that certain people are like very disconnecting and create a lot of thinking and thoughts uh, that need to be cleared and so prevent that peace. So, you know, then um, ignoring them, you know, just finding a way to, uh, without um, directly inflicting a lot of pain to, you know, oh, I can't, I can't meet this weekend for dinner. Um, you know, something else has come up, you know, just to... Um, avoid them or um no I, ca I can't go out jogging tomorrow or whatever it is so um uh, i've got something else planned to to give you the space to go deeper into the infinite and and also to be pray for guidance as to how to deal with these people because now you just want time to jump off and be in that peace and really i'd say you know doing the doing a lot of spiritual work where you're getting a lot of grievances and fears is probably not the most useful thing but, you know, at different stages of the spiritual journey, you know, life may be presenting lessons whereby you have to stick around these people and you have to transcend them. You have to keep doing the observer and keep praying ceaselessly until uh, until there's only love in that interaction. It's like life won't let you escape from them. You're just forced to be with them for hours every day. Uh, so in that case, then the lesson's kind of obvious. You can't escape them, ignore them. You'll have to do the spiritual work to to go through that uh, the the hard way, uh, which is just being the witnesser or just um, keep um, keep uh, doing the course lessons on them to let it go or the anti karma practice.